Hi everyone, this is Sarah Stevenson from Hollywood and Bust. If my voice sounds a bit scratchy at the moment, it's because it um, has this nasty tickle that I'm hoping to shift very soon. Here with me is Mike, my uh, my dad. Hi guys. And we're heading down to Dracula's um, and get some Dracula's restaurant. It's really cool yes. and a really great place to hang out and meet people and to get a chance to see a bit of entertainment, dancing and and other awesome activities yes. and I'll be giving you a guided tour of the actual place so bear with me and um, enjoy the show guys so as guys as I was saying um, I went to Dracula say three or four times already and it never gets very boring and I really enjoy it a lot and I, today it's pretty much raining and it puts me in mind of a another time when we went down there and it was raining like this and there was an accident on the road that kind of um, um, caused a little bit of problems that made us um, end up a little bit late which was kind of scary and um, it was a, bit, a very scary time and a bit stressful but, it was, but we, at least when we got there we were we ha had a night a good night right Mike? We did with our friends. Mm -hmm, we did. I think it was the second time I went second, to Dracula. Yeah, was it? it was Peter and um, Miss Karen there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, them. Yeah. yeah, it was great seeing them. I was a bit sad that um, I was a little worried that we would not get there on time. It was scary, that not to n not meet up with my friends again. I mean, I worked with them on Attack of the Cat People, and it was great to get the chance to meet up and socialize and not talk about work which is another good thing about mm. this sort of thing right is that right mike well it does help but you talk about work anyway don't you <laughs> mm. not all the time i just some of the time but other than that i like to take my friends on um some some kind of um special event special places i've even organized a special one with my friend friend alana who's having her birthday this week and i bought and I bought her a, a, a gift by purchasing some tickets to go see Neverland Brisbane Bar this week. Yeah, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. A theme bar. Yeah. yeah, I'm really excited about that, and I can't wait to see it. So, um, hopefully you might see us um, in that video next, next time. So, stay tuned for that one, guys. <laughs> Usually at this time, we'd often have a flashing sign that says, um, traffic holdups, you know. Um, Alan is Road here. Fingers crossed this doesn't happen to this this time around. And people have uh, keeping to the speed limit and keeping safe. Keep the low speed limit Guys, we have not seen one sign that says um, traffic holdup so far, right? right? No accidents, no nothing. It's really, really good for a change. There was one on the other side of the road, but that doesn't affect us. Only a little one, little one. Yeah, but that doesn't affect it's us. It's raining after all. It does bring out all the knuckleheads. Uh, yeah, true, true. Um, we can't, um, we'll, you'll be able to find them all over the road sometimes at nights, yeah. especially at the night, on the weekends. So it does you get the odd one here on the weekdays. So we're getting close to this we are getting more and more closer to the surface paradise, which is probably where um, the um, Dracula's is, isn't that right? Yes. Yeah, the surface paradise area. Yeah. Yes, so that's where we're getting close to that now. The gold coast heaven. Yes. Here we are guys, we're at Dracula's! Yay, look at it! Hooray! We got it here on Yay. safe and sound! Hooray! Hooray! Good, good groovies up here. All over well. And here, hopefully... Mm -hmm. That's that pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll go around that way. Same thing? Park at your own risk, is it? Yeah, park at your own risk. <laughs> <clears throat> Easy. Now, the best part is. Now, 
parking. Okay, alright.
Thank you. That's for you. Thank you. Look at this menu, guys. There's some really awesome drinks on there. Including some really incredible stuff. Yeah. And I think you're probably going to start off with a zombie. Yeah. Something simple. <laughs> I'm having a zombie. Yeah, zombie. You say that, but it's like one of the two pubs that we have to live at night. It's like quite complicated, actually. Yeah. Oh, I, I like people like that. Oh, yeah, no, it's a fantastic souvenir. And honestly, I find the liquid nitrogen pretty fun. Oh, yeah, it's really good. And it tastes nice. I need a bit of vodka and um, pineapple juice and stuff. It tastes really good. Anyway, so, moving on. Yes. Drinks through me. These are all yours now to keep. All the black stuff. Please take it home. This, ignore that side. You're ordering through me. That is the food menu. We've got chicken, lamb, and mushroom. And I'll be around for that order once you guys have your entrees. And I remember. You remember. All right. Yes, the first half of the night is very busy for me until everyone gets in. Who does your makeup? Pardon? Who does your makeup? Me. Really? Yes, thank you, but it's actually a 15 minute rush dog tonight. You should see me when I have an hour. <laughs> 44 to 15. Are these two together for 25? Do you want something? Oh, I don't want to be rude, but I've been here four times and already all the stuff. Well, I've been here more times than you, so suck in. And I get paid to be here, so I win. Well, there you go then. You should have brought your souvenirs along with you because now you look like the people that don't buy it. We've got three or four of the horns, two or three of the glasses, and I've got some TV glasses for the zombies. Do you have a stomach full of the sanctuary show? Yeah. Have you seen this show before? Yeah, three or no, four this times. Is, this is show. So this is only made for this show. So don't try and trick me and say you've got this, I know you're I've had other bills here from the previous show. Okay. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Exploring on my own. So I told you I'm gonna take you down to the gift shop. There, there's some really good stuff there. But check out. Yeah, 
get really good stuff here. Well, you can buy a nice corset. They, the almost only um, women who are and some of the guys here would wear these corsets at the at Rockefellers. And you're all more than welcome to buy one and impress your girl, impress your boyfriend or girlfriend with it. Or if you're not into that sort of thing, you can always just wear it whenever you like. <laughs> Some nice dolls, accessories. Um, here's um, my favorite, um, the Living Dead dolls. They're really awesome to collect and they're really well fun to keep. And you can see here, there's the Annabelle doll. And look here, there is um, Adam's family um, Living Dead doll. Very cool. Ooh, there's, um, there's um, Morticia Gomez, you may have seen them in, in, the, pre in the movies, in the TV shows. They're awesome to collect. Ooh, look at this, look at the Chucky's ones. Look at that one, it's, got, it's all gory and creepy looking. Look, there's another one. And the good thing about these ones, they can talk to you. That's something really worthwhile getting, collecting. Look over here, guys. Ooh, look at this. That I would definitely like to buy. But I'm not sure if I would. I don't know where I'll put it though. I imagine that you might know where you want to get something like that. Now over here. Now this is um, some of the cups that Mike and I have been drinking from. See? Um, those are the ones that we were drinking from. And uh, you can probably buy them. They're about $15. And there's another one called a uh, coffin flask. And that's about $85, $80, $50. And over here are some more accessories and bits and pieces you may wish to collect in your for your collection. Like, check out that a spangly whip. That's good for if you really want to go for the king genius of your boyfriend. There's some more kinky stuff over here. Um, like, let me see some nice tights for that dead someone you wish to impress. <laughs> And there's um, these other things here that you can spangle up your relationship with. Um, it, it's up to you guys if you like them. Uh, I won't press, I won't judge you if you want to check it out.
discuss enjoy this video and let me know in the credits what you think, okay?